What's up guys, this is Stefan from Apprentice IT and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a very easy way on how to create a menu for a coffee shop slash bakery and for that we're going to use this wonderful tool which is online and it's called Canva. We're also going to be using um, a print screen tool which I prefer and I've been using it for a couple of years and it's called Lightshot. And for the background image, I'm going to use FreePick as the uh, chosen platform. Okay, so let's get started. Open a browser and uh, enter canva.com. Now, this website is completely free. You just sign up with your email and um, the whole process takes only one minute. As you can see, it's, uh, it's already showing you the capabilities of the website. You have social media, personal business, marketing, education, um, designs for literally everything you can imagine. Okay, so let's not waste time. I'm going to log in because I already have a username. Which I simply seem to forgotten my password. Okay. And now let's search for a food menu. Food menu. Now my menu is going to be uh, on landscape. So I'm going to select a landscape menu. And as you can already see, there are literally hundreds of possible solutions. Whether it's a restaurant, a burger, a restaurant, fast food, pizzeria, uh, healthy food, sushi, everything you can imagine. Now I'm browsing for a template. I'm going to use this one. But it looks kind of plain and I want something with a little more color in it, something with uh, more, mm, I don't know, more vivid colors. So I'm going to delete this. Everything in this online platform is based on click and edit. As you can see on every element which I'm clicking on, I have different options here in the left corner. Okay, so if I click the font, I'm capable of seeing the size of the font, um, the color of the font, effects, bold, italic, and um, orientation, alignment of text and even uh, the type of font, I can choose whichever font I want. Now, I'm going to delete this header because I don't like it. I'm going to delete every element which is uh, made by default. And now, I'm going to make for this um, bakery or coffee shop or whatever it is, I'm going to search for an image which is going to be more relevant to me. I'm not an expert in restaurants and bakeries, but I think that putting uh, a face or some sort of action with someone eating a uh, croissant or uh, drinking coffee in this menu would make it more appealing to the customer. Okay, so let's search on uh, freepick.com. As you can see, I have already entered this website here. Let's search for eating croissant. Mm hmm okay this one's interesting but she looks as if the croissant has many calories okay so she's in doubt whether to eat it or not and we don't want that we want the customers to to desire the product okay so okay this one looks good young stylish attractive woman in yellow blouse let's open it yeah that's okay she looks as if She's gonna go for it, you know. She's gonna she's gonna eat that croissant. It's worth it. Okay, so let's download it. You simply click download. You have the free download button here. There's only one condition on this website, freepick.com. You need to um, credit the author for it. I mean, somewhere in your um, menu, for example, or 
if you're going to use this online just give credit to the author and i'm going to click free download and you will see that you need to copy this and attribute it um, we're going to open a notepad for example and copy this so we can use it in our youtube description to give credit to maria markovic okay so let's save this save as give credit to maria right so now that i've downloaded this downloaded this image i'm going to extract it and i need to let's see it a bit bigger it's it's okay and i'm going to add it to my design here okay so now there's a very easy way to add it this uh, uh, platform the canva platform allows you to upload files simply by clicking on this button and upload an, an image or video as you can see i already have a couple of uploads here but you can easily you can easily let me go back to my design you can easily just drag and drop that image here and it's already getting uploaded okay we're gonna wait a couple of seconds for this to finish and then we're going to add it as a background to our menu right and to resize this you simply click on it and just expand the edges like this this and my interest is to i don't know have her on the left of the menu so i'm going to make this image as big as possible making sure her head is properly inserted in this background okay and now we're going to play along with the font for a bit I'm going to delete this because I'm not using it and I'm going to make the font white so just select this okay select the black font double click on it and click here and select the white color okay do the same for the price select the white color now an easy way to apply the same uh, styling to the other components is to just select this one and click on this copy style button here and boom apply it to the other components now you can do the same here like copy style boom copy style boom copy style boom and let's finish with every other element from the menu okay so let's put these i don't know some sort you simply drag and drop you know you drag them on the screen and it shows you the vertical alignments the horizontal alignments so if you want to have them in line it's you simply drag them okay and put them one beneath each other okay i'm going i'm going to take the cakes and put them here this one is going to stay here for the moment because i don't know what i'm going to do with it and now i'm going to let the pastries the truffles the macarons and the cakes on the right side and i think i'm going to put the coffee separate in this corner okay so now <coughs> that i've finished this menu this one i'm going to leave it here uh, this is basically the address of the location so it's so it's important but i don't know where i'm going to place it for the moment so now i'm thinking of doing something like uh, let's say the um, the bakery 
has or the coffee shop has a Facebook page and they want to put it in the menu f so that the customer is uh, more inclined to like their Facebook page and uh, then uh, they would post stuff and they would come back to the location. So let's search for a Facebook page. Uh, let's search on Google for coffee shop Bali Facebook. Okay, so we've got some coffee shops here. Let's take this one. Coffee shop Bali, Indonesia. Let's see this one if it's okay. Ah, it's okay. Okay, so what we want to do basically is get a frame, um, a phone frame, for example. Uh, like a phone frame and put it here, a small phone with the Facebook page um, incorporated inside the phone. So we're going to make a screenshot of this screen and for that I'm using this tool called Lightshot. Lightshot. Okay, if you search Google you're, you're going to see this link. You can access it. It's completely free for Windows and Mac. And it's awesome when you print when you press the print screen uh, button. I'm going to show you here. I pressed. You can see that the screen is darker. So now you are capable of selecting uh, something from the screen and sharing it with other people. For example, you can copy this and uh, paste it in an email. You can uh, make a rectangle of something that you want to emphasize. You can add arrows. You can add text. For example. This needs to be changed. Okay. You can also um, download this in a file, in a folder from your computer, or even upload it to their server. Get a copy link. And if you access this URL, you are going to see that uh, the image is right here. Okay. So. I'm going to use Lightshot to get an image of this Facebook page and I'm going to select print screen, make some sort of picture from this, like this, I'm going to save it, let's save it here and say Facebook coffee shop page page and now we're going to go back to Canva and click on this little thing called frames actually it's in the elements section click on elements and here you can see as you can see we have the frames uh, mini section and if you go Okay, if you go right, you will find this tiny phone. You can simply drag the phone over your design and then just adjust it to the size that you want. Now simply go to the Facebook coffee shop page, upload it to Canva. and then drag it inside the frame okay so drag it inside this frame as you can see now it's not looking as we want it basically i want the logo of the coffee shop and that id that facebook id that the customers are going to get to reach it okay so we're simply going to double click on this image and then just adjust it accordingly so as you can see now the logo appears but I want to make it slightly bigger something like that and then center it a bit like this and then that should be that should be good I think let's make this a little bit bigger let's go to 125 yeah that looks 
decent as I'm not a designer so it's it's pretty good it's uh, appealing to my eyes at least okay now we can also make this text appear in white and we can also make this uh, I don't know bold and we can add this text either on the top let me just move this you can select all the elements let me see if I can select all these elements yeah if you want to select more than one element you just hold shift okay so now I'm going to select these elements and just press the up arrow on my keyboard to move it a little bit more up near the top margin we're going to do the same for coffee but I, this time I'm dragging it with my mouse so I can see the lines to make sure everything is, is aligned properly and now I'm going to put this text here somewhere around here and we can also make it I don't know, underlined yeah looks decent it's not the best design in the world but you got the idea this is feasible for any design you want uh, you can make any kind of menu restaurants pizzerias bakeries coffee shops whatever you want it's very easy and most importantly it's free you don't have to pay any money for this and uh, let's say if you want to download this design you simply go here and click on this small arrow and then download and you will get a PDF with this design let's download this oh I saw something which I don't like for example uh, the price here is not aligned properly so I'm going to select the um, this design and try to see if I can align it okay so select this portion this component component click copy style boom and everything looks better now right so let's download it click on download download again your design is being prepared and now you should see the black and gold coffee Statistery bread lines. Ah, so as you can see, this is the name of the template that we're using. But you can name it however, however you want. Anne's Coffee, or let's say 23 Coffee Shop and Baker. And let's see how it looks like. It's decent. But let's open it with. Let's open it with the with uh, Adobe. For some reason, I have to go on my desktop. Let's open it with Adobe. Uh, it's a decent design. It's not the best one, but you can play around yourself and see if you find. Uh, a menu that you like in this huge list that Canva is providing you with again here you go we've got tons of templates which can be um, configurable in a couple of seconds you just simply select them and you can edit the text however you want it uh, you can change the fonts you can delete the elements that you don't like and uh, basically you're done in a couple of minutes so that's the whole point to save time thank you very much for listening if you manage to make a menu for yourself and if you find it easier uh, i would like to hear this in the, in the comments and also i would like you to subscribe if possible to this uh, video so i can make more of them in the future thank you so much guys cheers